Let's take a look at how to use Compute Console, Altair's dedicated batch processing solver utility. I will first run a case of multiple OptiStruct simulations. I first specify OptiStruct as my solver, and then I select the studies I wish to run. Note, I can run just an individual study or multiple batch studies at once. In my case, I'm going to run multiple OptiStruct studies by selecting all files, and by default, they will run serially. I do have an option to specify parallel solving but I will run serially to minimize my unit consumption. I can specify the number of cores via selecting the NT option and specifying the cores I wish to utilize for my scenario. I can also specify if I want to run an in-core or out-of-core memory solution for OptiStruct, since it's a memory-driven solver. At this point, I'm ready to run. During runs of Compute Console, it will automatically show a solver log and tell you status of all runs, and if any errors do occur. In our case, all our OptiStruct runs will run successfully. Let's transition and now run a study with AccuSolve. With AccuSolve, some of our options are a tad bit different. But first, we will select multiple AccuSolve studies to run a batch study. One of the key differences between AccuSolve and other solvers is we have to specify the study name under the option PB. This is due to AccuSolve solver that requires a study name for each solve. The study name should just be the study name without .inp. If running multiple studies, you just need to specify for the first study run. After doing this, I can also specify processing. In this case, it's also different from OptiStruct, where I specify NP to specify the number of cores as parallel processing is enabled for AccuSolve. With these settings set up, we can run our studies and the solver log will show up. I hope this video has shown you how easy it is to utilize Compute Console for both individual and batch processing scenarios. If you have any other further questions, please reach out to us at www.trueinsight.io.